a very good morning to you class 5 hope you all are fine and you all are enjoying your uh, winter at your homes but with uh, these enjoyment you are studying at your home right it is very important to keep your study side by side okay grade 5 today we will be continuing with our unit number 12 and this time we are going to do lesson number 4 which is on your page number 64 so you are required to open your page number 64 of Oxford Progressive Book. In the number 12, lesson number 4. We are going to do our exercise number 3 and exercise number 4 from this unit 12, lesson number 4. Okay, uh, before moving towards our exercise number 3, uh, let me explain you about uh, how we are going to do this. So here you can see in this study corner that some noun ending in S look plural but are singular uncountable noun. Okay, there are students, there are some noun that ends with S but they are not uh, plural. They do look plural but they are not. They are actually the singular nouns, right? And they are uncountable nouns, okay? So there are some words uh, that do have these kinds of kind of meanings right they are not plural but they look plural they are actually singular okay for example there is no news from the spaceship yet here the news it is ending with the s but it is not plural it is considered as the singular one okay all right now let's move towards our exercise number three check the meanings of the unknown words in the dictionary on pages 121 till 127 then complete the sentence with the words from the box so they have given you few of the vocabulary words at the end of your book. You are going to look for these, uh, for their meaning on uh, the last of your book. But uh, here I am going to explain you uh, these meanings. If you are not well aware of these words and then we will be putting it in the blanks correctly. Okay, let's start with our first blank. Uh, dash is one game that you can play if you are ill in the bed. So from these options, can you find out the correct one that which is the uh, game that you can play if you are ill? It is cards. So you are going to write here cards is a game. Right that you can play in the bed. Okay, the second one the good dash is uh, that you got good marks in data. It's a very easy one. What is uh, we are going to put here the good news is that right? Okay, dash is a healthy sport and includes running and jumping. Remember that we have uh, done a unit which is related with the uh, athletes, right? So here we are going to put athletics. Right, athletics is a healthy sports and includes running and jumping. Okay, okay. We learn about heat and light when we study in which subject we study about heat and light it is physics in physics we study about heat and light as it is related with the science okay the subject of dash includes arithmetic and geometry oh it's a very easy one in which subject do you study about arithmetic and geometry it is mathematics so you are going to write here mathematics right Okay, the sixth one, dash like chess is played on a board with 64 block and white square. So, it is dot. Dot is a game that, that is just like chess which is played by two people. Okay, and it has 64 black and white squares. Okay, if you are ill with dash, you have small red spots on your face and body. So, this is the name of a disease which is measles. So, if you are ill with measles, you are will be having a small uh, sorry you will be having some small red spots okay dash is a dangerous disease that you can catch from sick dogs so rabies rabies is a disease that you can catch from the dogs so these are the correct answers of your friend the blanks okay okay now we are going to do our exercise number four which is related uh, with your study corner number three. Let's just hurriedly read about the examples. You can use a singular or a plural verb with these noun. Use a singular verb if you are thinking of the group as a single unit. Use a plural if you are thinking of the group as a number of people. So if we are going to see uh, that uh, the subject or the noun, we are going to see uh, it is as a one unit, then we will write it. We will choose the verb 
singular but if we will thinking about the group or the noun as a plural one or with uh, some more number of people then we will choose the verb plural okay okay let's start with the first one the group was what running down the hill together so we are going to think about it as a number of people so what is the correct answer here what will be the correct one the group dash have written a survey about life in the future here the group is one unit so has is the correct answer all the family dash outside to wave goodbye so here we are talking about all of the member so which verb we are going to put here were our family not poor anymore here we are talking about one unit one family so which is the correct one is the cabin crew dash very friendly during the flood here they are talking about all of the cabin crew so we are going to uh, take were the crew dash extra money at the end of each journey here we are talking about them as a group so here it will be receives the staff dash have 12 weeks holidays in a week the staff it, they are talking about a single unit the staff dash helping with school play this week so they are talking about all of the staff member here okay so we uh, the plu, uh, the verb will be plural the staff are helping with the school to play this week okay all right grade 5 we have done with our unit number 12 lesson number 4 exercise 3 and 4 thank you